Hey everybody, Rich here again. In this video I'm going to show you how to pseudo write protect a USB key. I call it pseudo write protecting because it's not actual real write protecting, it's just permissions modification, which I personally believe is the better route to go. The typical advice given on how to write protect a USB key is to hack the registry. And if you search for this on Google you'll see it. Where they tell you to go to H key, local machine, system, current control, set control, storage device, da 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 da. Add a D word entry and then you get the uh, write protect. I personally do not recommend this because whenever possible I do not tell people to go into the registry and hack stuff because too many things can go wrong. And it's also true even on this page they show you oh you can just download this utility and write protect your USB key that way. Well Aside from the fact I don't like telling people to go into the registry, another reason is that your USB key can get, for lack of a better description, stuck in permanent write protect mode. And it's a very, it's a large pain to get it out of it. You have to low level format it and it's just, believe me, you don't want to mess with that. Now the better way, I think, is to use NTFS permissions instead because it essentially does the same job. So I have here on my E drive, this is my 8 gig stick, this is my older 4 gig stick on E drive here, and the first thing to take advantage of the NTFS permission set is to actually format it to NTFS. If you right click a USB drive and go to properties, chances are 99% of the time it's FAT32. File allocation table 3.2 and uh, what we now you'll notice here that when I go to the properties of this there is no security tab because you can't do that in FAT32 not in this fashion anyway so we're gonna format it now obviously if you have data on your stick copy it and back it up first okay so I right click and I format and I choose NTFS quick format is fine start now it does pause on purpose because it's actually changing the entire file system of the stick. It appears to have locked up at this point. It didn't. It will go through. See, it goes right through. Format complete. And now, if I right click and properties, look at all the other tabs I got, including security. All right. So, how do we modify security on this? Well, it's really easy. Before you modify security on the stick, copy all the files you need to on it, and then go ahead and right click and then go to the security tab. And we will change the permissions here. And very simply put, we're going to deny the ability to write. And when you do this, it will automatically uncheck the appropriate ones on top. Hit apply. Now, actually, what I'm going to do first is actually put something on the stick so I can show what happens. This is full open permission right now. I'm going to right click, do a new text file real quick. Test. I'm, just, I'm not even going to put anything in the file. There's a file on here. That's all that matters. Now I'll go to security and edit and then just deny write permissions. Make sure I put that in the deny column and apply. Are you sure? Yes. Okay. Okay. Now what happens if I go and I try to modify or delete this file? Delete. Are you sure? Yes. Uh oh. You need to provide administrator permissions. Continue. Still won't do it. It will not allow you to delete the file until you go back and reset the security permissions to what you had before. You can try, try, try all day long. It will not let you delete the file. Or any other file that you have on there, or folder for that matter. So I go back to security, and I will edit permissions, and then just allow. Oops. And then it will take everything out of, out of the deny column, apply, OK, OK. Go back. Can I delete the file now? Of course I can, because I have permission to do so. I think this is the better way. Don't do that registry hack crap when it comes to USB sticks. Format to NTFS, use permissions instead. You don't need any software. You don't need to hack any registry entries. It's safer. It's easier. Do it that way. 